Welcome to Learning Redis by Pack Publishing. My name is Scott Gagno, and I'll be leading you on an adventure into using the Redis data store in the best way possible, by creating a game. So let's check out what I've got in store for you and what you can expect to learn. This is video 1.1, the Learning Redis course overview. So in this video, I'll introduce myself and the course you're about to take. And then we'll jump right into talking about the game we'll be creating as we learn about using Redis in an actual application. I'll be giving you an introduction to this course. I'll first talk about what you should already know as you start the course to maximize your experience. I'll explain what you can expect to learn in this course and what you can do to get there. First, let me introduce myself. I am a professional programmer with over 20 years of programming experience in various languages including Smalltalk, Java, Ruby, and Node.js. I've worked with a wide range of backend data systems across the SQL, Object, and NoSQL spectrum. In addition, I am proud to be an educator, having taught both online and in academic settings. And on occasion, I even work as an actor. We're going to be covering a lot of ground in a little time, so I'm expecting that you already have some background in JavaScript. You should know your way around a code editor of your choice and know how to use a command prompt on your machine. Node.js and Redis are available on nearly all platforms, but we won't be covering specific details and differences on each operating system, so you may need to be able to do a little investigation yourself if something goes wrong on your platform. But generally, if that happens, a quick search with Google or stackoverflow.com will clear things up pretty quickly for you. As you might expect in a course titled Learning Redis, we're going to concentrate on making sure you learn the basics of using Redis as a data store. We'll cover installing Redis and connecting to a Redis instance from the command line interface, the Redis CLI. We'll also cover how to store and retrieve information from the database, including some of the basic data structures available to us in Redis. And finally, we'll take advantage of the publish-subscribe capability of the system. Depending on your background, you may even learn a bit about Node.js. What are we going to do? Create a game. The most original and fun game ever. Okay, well maybe not, but it should be a fun way to learn about Redis. And we'll talk about the game in just a little bit. In the next video, we'll continue the course introduction with a look at our game requirements and design.